Hey, welcome back to KNK Visual Productions. I'm Karthik, your host, and today we are gonna create this insane plant growing effect inside Blender without using the geometry nodes. Yes, you heard it right. We are gonna do this without using the geometry node, and we are gonna use an alternate method which is much simple and shorter. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, for this tutorial, I'm gonna use this head model which I got from Blender Kit and you can use any model you want it's up to you so in this case i'm gonna use this hat model then what you have to do is we have to create a new empty so in this case i'm gonna use the empty sphere so shift a and add an empty sphere and make sure that sphere or that empty is in the uh you know slightly bigger than your model so in this case uh because i'm using the head that empty should be slightly bigger than my head model something like this yeah this looks perfect then select your model go to your modifier tab and search for vertex weight proximity then hit tab and select all your vertex and create a vertex group so let's add a vertex group and let's assign it then go back to your modifier and on the vertex group assign the group which we have created and for the target object select the empty change the proximity mode from object to geometry then the highest value should be the size of our empty so in this case my empty is around 0 0.137 so let's add it copy and paste and that lowest value should be slightly lower than your highest value so something like 0 0.1 should work and you can actually see what's going on there by shift selecting the empty and your model and changing the viewport from object mode to weight paint you can actually see what's going on with the vertex weight proximity so th this is what's happening behind so once you're happy uh, you can just adjust the size of your empty as you wish then for the plan i'm gonna use the botanic add-on so let's select the botanic and select the head model and add uh, a flower garden something like that so here we got our grass and flowers let's adjust the size and uh, you know spreading and scattering and all so if you see your plants or your grasses is facing in a wrong direction all you need to do is you have to select the model and go to the particle tab under which you can see an option called rotation where uh, you can see an option called orientation axis which in default uh, maybe you have it as global z you have to change it as normal and you can see our plans uh, now is been emitting in a proper di direction that is from the normals of our object now this is the, our last part select our flower or select the grass scroll down under which you can see an option called paint and there are two options which is density and length all we need to do all you need is the length and where you had to just click it on and select the group which have created uh, earlier uh, with our vertex so this is a vertex group just assign it and uh, do the same for our flowers so let's select the flower and assign it to the length and now that's it now if you just move your empty around you can see the flowers is growing and shrinking and that's it now if you don't have a botanic add-on no problem you can just use the normal particle system under our particle tab you can see an option called vertex group where you have the all options which we had in the botanic just those such as those density length and all so all we need is the length so you can just use normal particle system if you don't have botanic add-on so that's it guys i hope you love this video and i hope this was easier much easier than using a geometry node and if you love this video do subscribe and share this with your blender friends and and that's it guys once again you're watching k and k visual productions i'm karthik and i'm signing off see you in the next video until then take care